It's really tough to get a job in these days. So Jared Reyes joined hundreds of job seekers who turned out today at American Dream, where some of the 450 retailers and restaurants due to open at the Mega Mall this spring set up booths to onboard new staffers. I watched the news and they said, oh, come um, here to, to get a job. I'm like, what? I came here because it's a pretty cool place. It's, they're very creative with their setup and it's a good environment. What kind of job are you looking for? Uh, at my age, I'll take anything. I'm really uh, appreciative of a job. Has it been hard to, to find a job? Uh, yes, it has been. Retailers claim strong applicants can be hard to find, but that being an American dream helps. 90% of retail space here is leased, but much remains under construction, according to developer Triple Five. More than half the complex will focus on entertainment. That encourages managers at Abercrombie Kids. It's going to be oriented towards kids, so I'm excited, especially for the kids' store. I think it'll be a really big opportunity for us to see all of the new, like the water park, the ice skating rink. That's it's all going to be driving sales towards us and driving customers, so I think it's going to be a great location for us. I'm local to North Jersey, so waited half my life for this for this building to open to be part of this. Rich Yanez manages the It's Sugar Candy store, the only retailer currently open at American Dream. He says business is sweet. It's been way over all, all our expected plan. So it's been very, very good. Our CEO is very happy. The Mega Mall's opening in phases. Nickelodeon theme park and the skating rink debuted in October, followed by big snow in December. Triple Five claims 790,000 guests have visited the complex so far, including this troupe from Poughkeepsie. We decided to uh, have them play hooky, uh, skip school, and uh, let's, let's, let's come to Nickelodeon. No homework. But the DreamWorks water park missed its scheduled November opening and still needs a certificate of occupancy. And Triple Five reportedly welched on its promised payments to three local towns, East Rutherford, Karlstadt, and Secaucus, says Mayor Mike Ganelli. All it says in their agreement was once they open, they will generate a check for X amount of dollars to each town. And it didn't happen. So it's like... What are you doing? Ganelli says Triple Five claims payments aren't due till the entire Mega Mall's fully open, but that's not his understanding of the deal. There's a lot of things open. I think they drew in almost a million people already. We have to make it work for us all. And to make it work for us, you have to pay us what you owe us. Triple Five says a full formal opening, including the restaurants and the retail stores, is scheduled for some time in March, but a firm date has yet to be set. In East Rutherford, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.